Now, when it comes to consoles, everybody has a different opinion. Which one sucks? Which one is their favorite? Which one they truly enjoy gaming on? So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys my top five favorite consoles of all time. So with that being said, let's talk about it. Hey guys, what is up? It is Zap Crystal in the house where we talk about a mesh of the best retro and modern gaming and of course we sprinkle in a little bit of 90s nostalgia so if you like to take a trip back in time and relive the good old days you came to the right spot yes! Yes! now in this video i'm going to talk about my top five favorite consoles of all time these consoles are consoles that of course i owned and i have a lot of great memories and it might be a list that might be a little polarizing that might shock some people, but that will definitely give you a better insight of who I am as a gamer. So without further ado, let's jump into the list. Now, number one on my list is the NES. New Road, Brad Racer, only from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. So come on y'all, let's go back to the classics because definitely the NES is one of those that I go back because it's so easy to pick up and play. And I got to experience so many of them, like Gradius, Trog, Elevator Action, Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the NES. It's what started and what revived and amped the gaming industry in general. And for that, I have to give so many thanks to Nintendo because that's where I was established as a gamer. That's where I discovered my passion for gaming. Until this day, if I ever have to go back to a retro console, it is definitely the Nintendo Entertainment System, especially with Duck Hunt. I still don't get along with it. Entertainment Now, number two on my list is surprisingly the Nintendo 64. This console brings such good memories of back in the day. It's a console that united us as a family. Thanks to GoldenEye, Banjo-Kazooie, Mario Party, and so many other games. Like one of my best memories is actually sitting down and having those play sessions with my brother while playing some good old Earthworm Jim or the Blues Brothers. Now some of these games are not like the popular ones but are the games that connected me with my family and sitting just in front of the TV, passing on the controller when it was difficult and helping each other, it was almost like a family project. And for that and more, I really have to give thanks to the Nintendo 64, because even though it's not my favorite console, it is the one that I have a lot of memories with when it comes to family time. Now, I don't know if you guys can identify like me, but if you do, let me know in the comments below and probably share one of your most favorite Nintendo 64 games. For me, I have plenty of favorites. I definitely will link some videos at the end of my top most influential games that has made me the gamer that I am now at the been in there. 20 minutes. Tell them we're gonna play through. All right. We got plenty of time. Donkey Kong, one of 14 Nintendo characters teaming it up in Mario Golf, only on N64. Now, number three on my list is the Wii U. It's one of those consoles that actually got me back into gaming after a very long time. Now y'all need to really understand, during that time I was married, I had recently had a baby, and gaming was really not on my mind during that time. So the Wii U actually reconnecting me to my gaming roots made such a difference. And it's one of those systems that helped me bond with my son. Now my son was at an age that he actually knew what gaming is. So being able to connect with him as a mom and son time and showing him those great games I used to enjoy and play them together as a family really did help. And for that, I am so thankful because we share a lot of stuff in common. Like we both love Pikmin. We both had a blast with Star Fox. 
And we both enjoyed so many great games like L.A. Noir and so many other IPs. And for that, I really gotta give thanks to the Wii U because even though it may not be the favorite for other people because of the commercial campaign and how it was advertised and not being so successful, it really did make a difference in my life. We need Wii U. We're losing family time. Losing isn't fun, is it? No, no. Not, not at but all. Scout Wii Sports Club. With Wii Sports Club, we can train and play and finally compete online against other families because these guys think they're better than us. What? Oh, it is time for Wii U. Now, number four on my list is the Nintendo Switch. I got to experience and enjoy so many indie games because of it. I also always have a blast and a good time when playing with my community. But most importantly, it helped keep my mental stability in place, even in the hard times, like COVID. And I know I'm not the only one, probably many of you can agree with the same. I remember playing Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley, which I have over 100 hours. And it's all thanks to the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you're all about first party games and experiencing great indie games, then let me tell you, the Nintendo Switch is definitely a perfect fit. Especially because you have those family-friendly games, party games, and games that you can play with your family, sisters, siblings, and friends. It's so versatile, it is a handheld hybrid. You can dock it in your home or you can take it with you on the go. And for that, I consider the Nintendo Switch for a modern console to be one of the best of all time. Meep versus Boop. These two are competing to be the champion of cult leaders. Talk about a character assassination. Oh, God. I would hate to be on the receiving end of that blow. Now, number five on my list is the Xbox Series X. It's what got me hooked with the next-gen technology. It's what gave me access to a great library of games thanks to the Game Pass. And it's what made me fall in love with so many games that otherwise I wouldn't have even considered experiencing them such as the Resident Evil franchise and Spirit Feral. Now, if you are a fan of the whole next-gen technology like I am, then you're definitely gonna benefit of having the Xbox Series X. Now, I made a video, so if you wanna know some of the highlights and features for this latest console, check out my latest video of one year later, what are our thoughts and impressions for the Xbox Series X and the PS5. But overall, it is a solid machine. This is mainly what I use for when it comes to live streaming. And also, it's what helped me have access to such a great library of games. Just to give you one example, Hellblade, Senoa's Sacrifice, is one of those excellent and beautiful masterpieces that I got to experience thanks to the Xbox Game Pass. So definitely, I encourage you guys to give it a shot because it is one of a kind. Now, there's so many other consoles that I can simply talk about that would make this list a top 20, a top 15, etc. You get the idea. But these are the ones that I own and that I enjoy. Until this day, if I need to go back and sit down and play again, I would choose these systems over others. Now, my question to you guys is, why don't you drop in the comment below, what are your top five favorite consoles? Now, I know it's gonna be a little hard, but I trust in you in fulfilling and being successful in this task, and I cannot wait to interact with the entire community. Now, guys, do not forget to check the rest of our videos. We have a lot of top tens, top fives lists that shows you a little glimpse of my life as a gamer. Definitely check it out in your spare time, and also, wink, wink, 
we have a Patreon, guys. And if you want to know more information of all the cool tiers and memberships that we have and all the surprises that we're going to offer, definitely check out the link in the video description. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Stay rad, beautiful peeps, and game on.